This is Astrology for February 6, 2017. The most exciting event to occur this week is a full moon lunar eclipse on the 10th at 22 degrees Leo. Naturally, this eclipse will be felt by Leos and all the other fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. Eclipses have long been deemed as evil or ominous, and while they do have that potential, it may be just as important to note how positive they can be. They are a moment when the energy of the moon, in this case, becomes amplified or heightened. In the case of Taurus and Scorpio, the impact will be felt as a square or challenging, while the Aquarians may feel the impact of an opposition. It's important to reiterate the meaning of lunar eclipse and not let our imaginations get in the way of the potential inherent in all eclipses, both lunar and solar. Potential is the most important takeaway of an eclipse. Because of the concentrated influence, we all have the ability to direct the energy according to what serves us best. With the moon involved, we may typically look at our emotional base for the activity. Where that activity occurs and theme involved in such a placement is determined by the location of the moon in your individual chart. This location is referred to as the house or scene. This placement is determined by the time of birth which sets the orientation of the chart and the location of the houses. To find out where you might see this influence, contact me for the precision of your chart on my website. Just click on the email. If that wasn't enough for us to absorb, we can also see the Jupiter station retrograde this week. Since Jupiter is a slow-moving outer planet, its influence during the station is slow and methodical, which allows us to harvest the influence over a longer period of time. Jupiter stations retrograde, shifts direction, and remains at 23 degrees Libra until February 16th when it crawls into 22 degrees Libra. By March 2nd, 2017, Jupiter will be in direct opposition to Uranus, which will be discussed in a future writing. Jupiter in opposition to Uranus holds the potential for innovation and startling revelations, especially since Uranus is the ruler of surprise and rebellion. More in the coming weeks on that, though. Along with the shower, the slower moving planets, we find speedy Mercury charging into Aquarius this week as well. Mercury likes the domain of Aquarius, an intellectual cerebral sign. It is in that inquisitiveness and the broad reach of the human endeavor that appeals to quick thinking Mercury. We should prepare for a lot of action as a result, particularly with Mars and Aries, the sign it rules. Together with Mercury, Mars and Uranus will be seeing a new collective topics that resonate across all demographics and signal a revolutionary tactic of some ideological sort. Interesting times. We can see those words play out on the public headlines. There's no question about it. how we manifest that is important to us. Listen to, tune, listen to Turning the Wheel podcast each week. Great guests, interesting topics you can use. Write to me or call me for a reading. My website's returningofthewheel.com, returningofthewheel.tv. And I thank you for your attention and your support. And if you can help me out anyway, click one of those donate buttons and hopefully I'll get them working and you can help me out. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.